Pisces. 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 I don't like you. Pisces, Shield of Pisces. Positive change. Powerful, positive change. Pisces. Pisces. Never give up. immature somebody don't doesn't like you because you've made some positive change powerful positive change and you never give up someone says I don't like you because you've had positive change powerful positive change and you never give up and here I am, I am so immature, not liking you. It's not over. I'm not finished. <laughs> I'm not finished not liking you. I will continue to not like you. The... My um, my my cap my capability my my of what's left of what's left of the amount of not liking you is not finished yet. It's like I have this whole bottle of negative energy toward. I have this whole bottle of not liking you that I still need to pour out over you. I'm not finished. It's not over yet. I still need to give this to you. Continue giving you this hatred. But not hatred, um, not liking you. Dislike. A bottle of dislike. <laughs> Just wait. I'm not finished. It's not over. I don't like you. You just wait. I am not finished giving you this. Pisces.
No sex. Turn them against you. Seems to be okay. So this one says serenity, and then I have digressed without you. Even though I'm not finished pouring this dislike over you, even while I am pouring this, these emotions out on you in this bottle of I don't like you. Even in the midst of this, you have positive change in your life. It's like you can't wait until the day that I am finished pouring my whole bottle out on you. And you will not wait because you are powerful. Uh, you say no thanks to this constant stream of negativity that's pouring out on you, a constant stream of dislike, and you never give up. Um... You don't know what that means, let me see. But this person that is pouring this bottle out on you in the spiritual world or in a symbolic sense, this person that is pouring this dislike over you, that is continually, I don't like you, and it's not over, this person has digressed without you. And um, if you can't see this yet, just wait and see. You will, you will be able to see this in the future. Because nobody that sends out this much dislike can ascend. Trust in divine detours. Trust in divine detours. You don't have to sit and wait to see this person digress because you can trust in the, the divine that this is what will happen to this person. You can trust in karma. But also this person being like this has their own path of divine detours. Sometimes you have to dip in order to learn things. Also, you are too powerful to wait for this bottle to empty on you, because it might never stop, you know? You said no thanks, so you never give up. You never stop, you never give up on this 
worrying out of this dislike. And this is immature. I would rather hold on to this serenity. And um, this serenity that you hold on onto, the serenity that you hold on to, turns them against you. So here is the dislike and here is the serenity. <coughs> they are <coughs> against each other on opposite sides. And they are turned against you. And they, they have turned against you because you said no thanks to them. And you said no thanks to them because you trust that this is divinely guided. You trust in divine detours even though it feels like even though it feels like a detour to let this person go. You know that it is divinely guided. Protection of the Winged Mother. Okay, yeah. You can trust in this divine teacher because it is protected. It's divinely protected and you are safe. And it is uh, in the highest good that it is meant to be that this is, this is meant to be that you do this. Even though it feels painful maybe. doing such weird things today. I <clears throat> I cried. I cried when I turned them against me in some way because you said no thanks. But I also cried when they turned themselves against me. They never give up on on this turning them turning themselves pushing themselves against your will and wishes and um, you had to say no thanks but uh, you cried while you, you did this because you know this person is just immature maybe they just don't know you know but it will bring you serenity precious qualities this person does have precious qualities and that's why you cried, because maybe they had a lot of potential, untapped potential. But you also cry for this serenity for yourself. Happiness. Happiness. I have digressed without you. This person um, is unhappy or not unhappy, but maybe, I don't know, but their level of happiness has digressed without you. It has become less. It has, what do you call it? The, it has become less. And they are scared because of it. They are scared. They... They need to trust in divine detours in their own path as well. <clears throat> they need to go through a divine detour to find the happiness again that they are scared to trust in the divine detour that is happening now. The separation between you two. And ultimately it will be for their best good as well. Evil. <laughs> Evil. Oh, I see now. This 
Hitor is meant. The reason why this detour is happening for them is because they they need to bypass evil. This was divinely guided because they are how to explain it. Um, this is this is the evil, and um, they were. This person that is pouring out the I don't like you and this person that have digressed without you in their happiness. This person was on a path and it was this path that they were on was leading and going straight towards this evil entity or evil, I don't know. But ultimately this path was leading towards Destruction, evil, it's, 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 this is something that is bad for them. It leads to no good, um, big catastrophe, big unhappiness, big pain, you know, everything bad. Devil, evil, evil beings, disgusting, horrid things, you know. And they were on this path towards it. And this divine detour that is happening now is to to get them off of this path so that they can avoid this evil and it is actually um, the, the being or the if you want to call it God or universe or you know whatever you want to call it this protection of the winged mother is what caused is was was is what caused this divine detour for their own good it, they, they are being saved you know they are dodging a bullet because they were going straight towards the zero. And this is actually a blessing in disguise, even if they don't know it. It's a blessing. They are being protected. So that they can, you know, whatever... This path probably went through the evil towards something else, actually. They probably they didn't even know that this evil was on this path. But now, they are taking this detour around the trust in divine detours around it so that they can still go to whatever they wanted or desired but there's another path towards this that is safer that is protected and that is in divine in divine essence right divine right okay pisces Pisces. Back. You're scared of this evil, but this evil is fake. Yeah, the details around the evil are fake. Let me see. Comfort. It's been very comfortable for somebody to be fake. It's their comfort zone. It's very easy for them to do, to be fake.
And I think somebody finds comfort in your precious qualities because they are so fake. There's something so deep. Somebody, somebody finds somebody finds comfort in your precious qualities because it's easy to manipulate Manip manipulate by crying fake crying and it messes with your serenity your precious qualities is also what allows you to be Soft. It's, it's comfortable. It's comfortable, but easy to manipulate because your heart is so soft. It's they are fake, but. Because you have such precious qualities, you always see the potential. And you can recognize it's fake, but it, it's like you see beyond that. <coughs> it's like you see their potential, even though that you know it's fake, but you see the, the person behind it, the soul behind it, the potential behind it, and you want to help them. But they are taking advantage of this. Okay, let me take... Let me do one more link, guys. One more this way. One more uh, down here. And then Some advice, maybe, to end this video. Some advice with the road down here for Pisces. Pisces. This person is immature and they will never give up on this immaturity. And this immaturity is what turned them against you. This what and you against them, something like that. They find serenity in your crying. Yeah, they find serenity in, in your precious qualities by extracting from it. It's like they are feeding off of it. They want, yeah, something. They want you to cry because it generates it generates these precious precious qualities. But like it's like when you cry because you're in pain because of them, it's like you you generate things around you that is precious to them that they. Like they enjoy it so much. They enjoy you crying and they, they enjoy your pain. It's like they are feeding off of it and it's like this is what they want you to do. Is to generate and to be in this pain. Because the, your pain is their precious quality. It's, your pain is what is precious to them. It's uh, your pain. Tr your pain to you is something painful and it hurts, but to them the same pain is like a diamond. It's like a jewel, and they they want to collect all of all of it, all of these pieces of pain, because.
because this dam is like a greedy I don't want to say monster but it's like a greedy I don't know it's like somebody it's, I, they enjoy this feeding process and manipulating you into generating these vibrations around you and they they eat off of it a rebirth is assured you have hurt me I see They will pretend to comfort you when you are crying, but this is fake. What's behind is evil. Oh my god. They are scared when you are happy. Oh my god. Oh. They are scared when you are happy. Your happiness scares them. I don't know if they are evil or if something evil is attached to them, but because because they are e evil or this thing is evil, happiness is what scares them. Crying and pain is what comforts them. It's like a different species. What is somebody's food is somebody else's repulsed by this. This being is repulsed by happiness. wants you back they want these precious qualities back this um, constant supply of food constant supply of pain and this, this is what they enjoy this these things that you generate they want it back oh my god because they've lost it I've lost my comfort I was comfortable with this, with you, with it. I was comfortable with this person because I was, it's like finding paradise, you know, to have this thing that is comfortable to have this precious thing that you think is precious and you can just, whenever you want, you can make them generate these precious pain pieces for you to eat or for you to enjoy and now they've lost it and they want it back and they are hurt because they have lost this for them it's serenity They think a rebirth is assured. They think that this will start back up again and they can get you back. But they are very immature to think this. They will also never give up on trying. Oh! some help for this person please some help for this person Pisces you 
overwhelm me. Pisces. Pisces. Some help for Pisces, some advice for Pisces. It makes sense that they are pouring out this bottle if I don't like you on you. Because you are constantly making positive change and they want to keep you down. They are pouring this over you because you are their source of food, source of to generate something that they desire, want, but they use this to your detriment. Constantly putting you down, I don't like you. To keep your confidence low, so you don't realize who you are and you will break out of these chains huh? okay some help oh my God. some one please one by one some help for Pisces on your side some help for Pisces for Pisces. Some help for Pisces. For this reading. Some help for this reading. Some help. Last two cards for this reading on the side here. Last two cards. Got what she's always wanted. calculated and wild.
Okay, so this person that is feeding off of you, they think that a rebirth is assured. They think that they can get you back into this trap of you basically being a farm on it. They are farming this this pain off of you basically. They think a rebirth is assured. But they are very immature to think this. And you feel overwhelmed by their immaturity. It overwhelms you that they think that a rebirth is assured. And this hurts you overwhelmingly that they think this. You don't trust this person when they say that they want you back because you have precious qualities. You don't trust this person because they have hurt you. Let's go back to the elephant. They will lose because you calculated this, you figured this out, you worked this out. They can no longer manipulate you into coming back. Your every move is calculated now. You you've worked it out. You know what? <laughs> it's calculated. Um. You how to explain it? You figured this equation out. Like it's you have the answer now. Uh, it's already you know what. You already know what's going to happen before it happens. You already know the fu future. It will happen in... You know their every move. And because of that, because you have calculated this, figured this out, and know their every move, they will lose and you will become wild. Meaning, you break out of this, I see a horse in a, in closing, you know, and this horse breaks out of this, and it becomes wild, a wild horse again, wild and free. So, what's that movie's name? Spirit. Where they capture the horses. And the horse breaks free and is wild, can be a wild, natural horse again. But there, up here there's something... Let me see.
this person thought that they will always get what they wanted because they've always gotten what they've wanted. It will overwhelm them also when they realize now this is no longer the case. And now you've got what you've always wanted to come back to what you've lost, which is this wild side of you, wild and free side. It's just free. Like a horse running. For the first time in a long time. Just running. This wind. <laughs> Like your soul also, is, you know, it's been, it just breaks loose and it's just, you can breathe and expand again. So beautiful. Okay. So at least this reading has a happy ending. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna do some cleansing after this one. Okay. See you at the end of my hair. I need to take a shower. Okay. Bye bye.